Oh my fucking god, time for a new vlog. How the fuck are we doing today, guys? I'm doing awesome and sexy. Thanks for all oh, Louis asking. <laughs> ah, oh, shit balls. Uh, fuck? This is kind of embarrassing. I feel like you motherfuckers have caught me doing some very, very naughty stuff in my bedroom. Yes, cleaning! Give me one second. Ah, there we go. Sorry, I forgot to uh, update my EXP of Dungeoneering on the bung board. Yes, I know, that is very embarrassing in general. So, last night I only did about two floors of Dungeoneering, but they were fucking larges, and that still got me about 200,000 EXP. Which is actually fairly good. So right now, I'm currently 1.6... Uh, 73 mil EXP to 103. Tonight I actually plan on doing quite a few larges, so hopefully it gives me around. If I do, if I do four fucking larges in four in two hours, that's about eh, give or take. If I die or not, roughly around maybe like 300,000 EXP. Probably a little more and shit because I'll be doing a warp floor than rest of cults. So yeah, it will give me a fairly good chunk of EXP. Uh, there's no Bungus video yesterday, mainly because I got really, really pissed off, and I almost fucking threw my laptop out of the wall. I mean, out of the, out of the fucking window. <laughs> I wanted to go to the KBD, as basically like a rematch of Bungus versus KBD, and every, I literally, fucking, I hit the little option, um, I, and I went to literally every motherfucking non-loot share world. There were people there. And I'm not talking about one or two dudes, I'm talking about fucking people. Like five or six. Every single fucking world. Literally everywhere, and I, it took me literally an hour to fucking do this. So we'd log out, log in, log out, log in, log out, log in. It was fucking annoying. Really was. So, around like midnight last night, I just said fuck it, and that's when I started doing some Dungeoneering and shit. Um, tonight, not really sure if there will be a new Bungus video, but on my main channel, there's actually a new fucking shit up video where I go in the wild using full Vesta. Oh boy, it's a doozy. <laughs> um, oh yes, by the way, I'm actually putting annotations on the bung board again. If you guys, like, like I said, I mean, if you're going to go and watch the fucking video, you're going to go and watch it. If not, then you're not. Uh, but there will be annotations on the bung board. Uh, so for those of you people that like easy shortcuts. You can just click the annotation after you finish watching a vlog and shit. If you guys are happy that I'm starting to add and use the bung board a lot more, then you can thumbs up my happy ass <laughs> and let me know in a nasty dirty little comment. Um, but yeah, I, I will be utilizing the bung board a lot more like I kind of used to and shit. Um, but otherwise, a new video is on my IRL channel about how to save money while or how to save money on bonus EXP weekend. I will try to get fucking um, my uh, uh, goddamn um, fucking Walking Dead videos as up as soon as possible. Uh, probably most likely just going to be uploading maybe two or three a day because I got a shit ton of them to fucking upload. Uh, not to mention I have to do episode four still. God damn it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. But otherwise, um, as tonight goes, I will be doing more fucking uh, dungeoneering floors in general, occults. Um, I have like one warped left to do, then rest of occult, uh, occults and shit. So, I've been doing them basically with, uh, two friends, or it's, it's normally me and a friend, and then we, fucking screensaver, normally me and a friend, and then, uh, we see, you know, if we need more people, which we normally do, we basically see whoever needs in the friends chat. Um, otherwise, it's just really with you guys in general. But, like I said, I will be in World 22, Dima Hami Huba Huba Watsa. Uh, Blog TV will be going relatively early tomorrow. Probably most likely around maybe 11 fucking Eastern and shit. Uh, reason being is because I kind of want to do Blog TV early for all the motherfuckers that live in Europe and elsewhere, elsewhere in the world. Yep. Alright, but today we're going to be talking about buying a new chaotic weapon on this game. I am actually, I think, like maybe... 15,000 tokens away from getting a new chaotic weapon tree. Um, you see, I want to buy another shield. And reason being is because the shields have various usage. Now, as you guys are aware that I bought the, uh, the far seen shield, whatever it's called and shit, um, the, a lot of you guys, it's, it's actually kind of funny. 
Because supposedly, really, nobody actually fucking knows what the shield actually protects from. Um, some of you guys are saying it's a melee shield. Some of you guys are saying it's a magic shield. It protects against magic. Some of you guys are saying it's a range shield. A few of my friends were saying it protects against range. Then a couple other of my friends are saying it protects against fucking uh, mage. And then like one or two people said, no, it's a melee. Me personally, I really don't give a flying fuck what it protects against. I just want it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I want the Chaotic and the Eagle Eye Shield, or, yeah, I think it's the Eagle Eye Shield. I, like I said, I really don't give a flying fuck what it protects against from. I'm going to bring it in the wild and just pray for the best. Because, you see, in the wild, you're, you never know what type of opponent you're going to be facing. It could be a hippie ranger, it could be a barraging douchebag asshole. I'm not bringing all three of those motherfuckers in the wild. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That would be a really bad day. <laughs> I think my whole fucking neighborhood would know about it. <laughs> ah, oh, that's a doozy. Yeah, so anyways, um, basically pretty much going to be buying one of those other shields. Already bought rigor. Already don't have a use for any of the other shit. Don't have a use for that little statue that protects against um, poison and stuff. I wish I had that when I was doing thieving, but you know I'm not thieving and I don't plan on thieving, so there's really no point for me to have it. But uh, that's basically where I stand on getting a new chaotic weapon and shit. Uh, really looking forward to probably buying one either late tonight or probably tomorrow. Eh, hopefully tonight, because it probably will only be like two fucking floors for tokens and shit. But, um, otherwise, last night, uh, I saw the movie Sinister for a friend of mine. Uh, I, I talked a little, a little bit about it in, uh, my fucking shit up video, but really not a lot, mainly because I was interrupted by a douchebag. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, I... I really forgot what it's like to go to see a movie on opening weekend, let alone opening day. Um, me and my friend got there, literally, the movie started at 8.40. And uh, my friend and I got there at 8.35. We didn't want any of the fucking goddamn, you know, any candy or shit. We just wanted, we, we've been waiting to see this movie ever since, like, the previews came out back in, like, fucking June. It, it looks like an awesome movie, and it was an awesome movie. Um... But we literally walked in the theater and we're like, holy shit, there's a gangbang here. Every fucking seat was literally taken. And we had to sit literally in the back row, crunched in between, like, fucking people. Didn't really matter because the movie was sk still fucking scary and shit. Um, was reading some of the comments you guys were posting about it. Yeah, the previews to the movie are, like, some of you guys were saying the previews to the movie really, you know, made the movie... Like, the previews were scarier than the movie. I actually beg to differ, because this movie was done by the same douchebag who made Insidious and Paranormal Activity, or the, the one of the producers and shit. And um, if you guys have seen the movie Insidious, it's kind of like a fucked up ending to the movie like Insidious. But Insidious was rated PG-13, versus this movie rated R for a lot of gore and shit, so you guys basically get my point. Um, there are no happy endings, <laughs> and a few of you guys said you didn't like the ending because it wasn't like a fucking happy ending. No, motherfucker. Real stories, real crime stories don't end with fucking happy endings. Uh, that's, that's really all I'm going to say, but otherwise, yeah, the movie was scary as fuck. Um, really, really did like it. It was actually a really good movie. Um... Which one? Do I like The Possession more or this movie more? I Actually, I, I love this movie a lot more. Ah, but anyways, um, yeah, that's basically it for about movie updates in general, and movie along now. Hamana, hamana, hamana. Alright guys, but like I said, I'll be uh, doing some dung bunga fucking dungeoneering tonight, and among some other shit in general. So, uh, yeah, I'll be in my friend's chat, you motherfuckers. Oh, fuck, I gotta do penguins. Ah, uh, shit. Damn it, I fucking forget to do penguins. <laughs> um... Probably, if, if you're in my friend's chat, I'm probably just going to say fucking we'll go in a mosh pit. Because uh, I would actually like to do penguins with some of you guys. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably most likely do that also. But otherwise, right now, I'll go to my email address. and ask some happy hooba hooba questions from you motherfuckers. 
ass. Never check who died. The yoo-hoos, otherwise you can't talk. <laughs> and you'll get fucked in your mouth. First, Super Hooper question. Do do you think Jagex will ever have songs added to Guitar Hero? Because I think it would actually be interesting to play the RuneScape main theme song on Guitar Hero. Question mark. Our username, IPK for fun. Alright. I am an individual that actually has never played Guitar Hero for more than about 60 seconds. I just, I don't know why, I've just never really played Guitar Hero. Um, from what I understand, there's a lot of Metallica songs on Guitar Hero. There's, there's basically a lot, you know, all the big artists and shit, it's on Guitar Hero. Um, I have no knowledge of the game whatsoever. I don't know if there fucking are RuneScape songs on, on Guitar Hero, or if they're going to be. Um, is it something that really affects me? No. I mean, it, it, I really wouldn't give two flying fucks if Jagex at, you know, let... Uh, Guitar Hero, or whoever owns fucking guitar, you know, use their music and shit. Um, do I think it will be good? It's another form of advertisement. That's really all the only, you know, that's that's really the only thing that I see is it's another way for Jagex to advertise their fucking game. Um, but will it be cool? <laughs> I, I mean, not for me because I won't play it. Maybe for some of you guys, but yeah. Do you guys really want to be playing like fucking songs on on Guitar Hero like? Because that, that's really all the fucking songs that there are on RuneScape. <laughs> it's a it's the boom bop march. Ah, but anyways, guys, if you got anything for me, you can leave me a nasty dear little comment. I'll see you happy, motivated motherfuckers tomorrow, and stay sexy, sexy, and bye.